Hello, it's Reverend Helen here. I hope that you're doing okay. Let's just take a moment to settle ourselves and get comfy. Perhaps have a little wiggle or a stretch. And let's think about our breathing for a moment. Maybe put your hands on your chest and take a deep breath in and out. It's good to spend a few moments of quiet just to focus. We're continuing to think about our school value of thankfulness. Can you remember the sign for thank you? Let's have a little go at that now. Thank you. Well done. I wonder what might you like to say thank you for today? Have a quiet think in your head. Last time we were thankful for people who help us. But I wonder what might we be thankful for this week? Have a look at some of these videos and see if you can work it out. What are we thankful for this week? So what do you think we're being thankful for this week? You might like to pause the video and share your ideas. We are being thankful for creation. I think that probably includes all the things that you thought of. Last week, we thought about the importance of saying thank you. So let's thank God now in prayer. God of creation, thank you for all you have made. Thank you for the beauty of your creation and for the joy we have in seeing your fantastic work of art. God of creation, thank you for all you have made. Amen. Our passage from the Bible this week is Psalm 148. A psalm is a song or a poem or a prayer and this one repeats the words praise the Lord again and again and again. Praise is when somebody is told that they've done well or that they are amazing. It's like celebrating them and Psalm 148 tells all sorts of things in creation to praise God because he made them. It says praise the Lord, heavens, all angels, the sun, the moon, the stars, the clouds, sea creatures, all the oceans, lightning, hail, snow, rain, wind, mountains, hills, trees, wild animals, farm animals, small animals, birds, kings, all rulers and every single person from the youngest to the oldest. Everything. Praise the Lord. Gosh, that is a lot. It says praise the Lord because he made everything including us and it's all excellent and he loves it all because it says they are all close to his heart 
Wow. I wonder, what is the most excellent thing that you can think of? The thing that's close to your heart. You might want to spend some time after this, either as a class or at home, writing or drawing all the excellent things in creation that you're thankful for. No matter what creatures we like best, whether they're big or small, or what weather we like, whether it's the sunshine or the rain, where we like to be, maybe at the seaside or climbing hills, we can be thankful because they are all excellent because God made them and loves them all, including us. So let's say thank you again. God of creation, thank you for all you have made. Thank you for the beauty of your creation and for the joy we have in seeing your fantastic work of art. God of creation, thank you for all you have made. Amen. Take care. Thank you for being excellent and I'll see you soon. Bye.